My fitness level right now, uh, not very good. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Yeah. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Right here, depending on the foot form we put inside. So we're sitting here on uh, August 16th. This is week one of a 16 week buildup, which will end at the CIM Marathon on December 4th. USA Track and Field announced that December's California International Marathon will serve as the National Marathon Championship. CIM, based off the way my last year's gone, makes a lot of sense for me. I race very well when I can run kind of up front and then the lead and not be. Uh, I guess buried in some of the, the bigger fields. So I think CIM is going to provide like a very competitive environment for me and, and one that's going to like allow me to kind of run my style of race. Jacob Thompson with the win. And Thompson there will finish in the top three, so he makes podium money. Backtrack to uh, I guess about a year and a half ago. I was living in Boston, Massachusetts at the time, and I kind of came to this realization that I only had a finite number of years to do this and I wanted to go to the, the best place uh, in the United yes. States possibly that I could train at and to me that was was Flagstaff so packed up everything that would fit in my CRV and uh, drove from from Boston to Kentucky first and then Kentucky to, to Flagstaff and started the journey. It is Friday August 19th uh, we're on Lake Mary Road going down to uh, Lake Marshall Hill and some long hill reps this morning. Yeah, I usually do them at the beginning of uh, the training block, kind of regardless of, of what I'm getting ready for. Uh, it's a good way to get in shape and get a lot of work in uh, without like hitting the track too early. So yeah, we'll be on the hills, do like three minute, two minute, one minute hills. Split it. Yeah, it's one on one. Yeah. <sighs> look pretty good. When you drive coming back? You look a little more fit than I thought you would have. Thanks. Wait, who's on you? No, no, JT. <laughs> I've, lost like, behind. Like, <laughs> I've lost like four and a half pounds in the last two weeks. What are the patches for? Oh, for inflammation. Got like a neck thing going on and calf and Achilles. So, usually strap up on workout days. Something hurts where I have like, my calf or Achilles is like really tight. Yeah. I'll put it on there and like 15 minutes later, feel way better. Yeah. Really though, we should get Slurpees on the way home. I'm getting one. A little whey protein. Then we'll get a Slurpee on the way home. Make some breakfast. Well, this morning I had some granola and some coffee and some water but try to eat something uh, depending on what I'm doing it'll get more dialed in when I get to like the marathon sessions we did 18 minutes of hills uh, three sets of three minute two minute one minute hills are probably my least favorite uh, type of workout for sure uh, especially at altitude but if there is one cheat code to uh, fitness altitude it's it's hills so we do them in the beginning uh, of like a training block a lot, and then we'll also end like a lot of tempo stuff with kind of like hill strides or like uh, 150s and stuff on hills. But yeah, overall, it went better than I thought it would. I think I was kind of prepared for the worst, so. <laughs> Go Claire! Even like this morning, you know, driving out here at 8.30, like you pass 15 people who are all like training at a very high uh, level and just think like, over the last, you know, 10, 20, 30 years, like ever since people have been coming out here to, to train and to live and to work out, like so many Olympians and people who've, uh, you know, had a lot of success and competed at a high level have all worked out up and down this road. So it's always pretty cool. Nothing like a Slurpee protein shake combo. Gotta get ready for a Big Dustin Lynch concert coming up here 
Flagstaff doesn't get any uh, very many big time artists, so it's gonna be talk of the town. September 9th, Dustin Lynch, Fort Todd Hill Amphitheater. I'll be there. <laughs> So last year, the, the main goal for moving out to Flagstaff was to qualify for uh, the 2020 Olympic Trials. And now Thompson looking to move past Ruff, and he does, he gets by. And Thompson, with his arms up, he punched his ticket to the Olympic Trials. I ended up uh, breaking 28 minutes in the 10K for the first time, getting a qualifying spot for, for the Olympic Trials. Tammy and Mark Thompson are now on their way to Eugene, Oregon. That's where the nation's greatest track and field athletes are gathering for the U.S. Olympic track and field trials. Jacob will be competing in the men's 10K on Friday night, and he has to finish in the top three in order to make the U.S. Olympic team. Uh, the trials weren't the race I had, I had hoped to have at the trials. Uh, it was 17th place. Um, All right, you know, obviously, we want to be trying to compete for a spot. Um, more importantly, like. I want to be really consistent in my performances and uh, get into the top 10 in the U.S. like year after year. And I wasn't really able to do that. I kind of always figured I would end up uh, at the marathon one day. I didn't know when or where that would be. Uh, but after the Olympic trials, it became pretty clear that like I wanted to give a fall marathon uh, a try in 2021. So I settled on running the Chicago Marathon. And uh, in my debut, I was 12th at Chicago, running 2.15. After what I thought was like a pretty good debut at Chicago last year, I knew the marathon was going to be kind of my future and I started to point my eyes towards the 2024 uh, Olympic trials in the marathon. So this phase of training right now is uh, I'm about to just jump into the trenches. Uh, we're back in the weight room, mileage is going up, just getting back in shape really, uh, getting my butt kicked in workouts, uh, just kind of the grind of, of being tired and, and really starting from, from scratch, uh, which is something I haven't done. Uh, since I took a break after the Chicago Marathon last, last fall. Uh, so after my last race of the season, uh, which was the US 8K Champs, uh, I took about a three week break where I was back home, uh, put on a high school running camp, kind of took two weeks at home just relaxing with my friends and then uh, yeah, I came back to altitude and excited to get, to get started and get fit again. I'm gonna do 18 mile long run. Uh, it's the beginning of week four weeks get all mixed up now. We did like two weeks of normal training and then kind of switched into this like, excuse me, this like nine day cycle. Uh, so this is day nine, the first nine day cycle. I'll do a long run. Uh, fairly steady, it'll be like six, six, six of like six miles easy, six miles moderate, six miles like a little up tempo. Uh, so we'll start on the dirt and then finish up on the roads. The uh, Under Armour shoe team is out here as well which would be nice. Uh, I get a lot of like feedback as they're like developing the, all the new like flats and racing shoes and stuff. And it's a cool thing with, with Under Armour to be able to like actually have like a little bit of stay and know that the, the engineers who are building your shoes care enough to come all the way out here to Flagstaff to uh, see how they work. Three out, three back. And we'll change shoes real quick and then yeah. go. We got, we got two content teams out here. Saturday. Oh, I feel fine. Yeah. I mean, it's just, this is the longest run I've done in yeah. almost five months, probably. 
Yeah. So yeah, the last two miles is 1042. We're supposed to get down to 530 to stay there, but... Yeah, it picked up. <laughs> Yeah, look, we had a little bit of excitement, a couple of cameras, a couple of bike pacers. Yeah, we little bit of pit, a little bit of... <laughs> 72 would have been six minute pace. Yeah. And then five minute paces. Would have been 60. So you're right in the middle of that almost. So 66 would have been 530. Mm -hmm. And we were 107.40, so another 60, what's what, another 100 seconds? So 12 goes into 100. <laughs> Eight times. Yeah. So we averaged 538 for yeah. the last 12 miles. Going from That's some good ass math. Going from 553 was the first mile, and the last mile was 520 on the dot. Yeah. First nine days down. Start all over Pretty tomorrow. Good first nine days. Yeah. That was helpful. The last on my way back. Did you hear the music? Good, good, good. <laughs> You'll be able to join us for lunch today or tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, I'll be there today. What will be your longest run before the race? Uh, I'll do 125. Uh, and that'll be like a workout, a long run. Uh, but other than that, I think I might have one 24 and then a bunch of like 20 to 22s. So we're still kind of building up the last three weeks. I'm basically coming from nothing. I went 16, 17, 18. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll probably jump up to 20, 21 nine days from now when we do this again on the way to lunch uh, with the under armor innovation team uh, they're here for like four days they kind of come in every they're here a couple times in the spring so they probably come in like four or five times a year and uh it's like get really deep into like all the, the prototype shoes and the, the new spikes um like the marathon shoes and like everything they're developing and we kind of get all those and you know that's what like we train in a lot of time and then it's cool to like actually the engineers like come out to Flagstaff and come to practice to and sit down and have these like one-on-one -on -one meetings with us to like see what we like see what we don't like because they're their job is to like make us go fast um, and obviously like our perspective on the shoes is probably like a little bit different than the regular marketing or like the regular your average like runner um so they kind of have to like please both parties i guess uh so it's yeah it's cool to have them out here for that but yeah this morning we did 18 miles um we're kind of on this so we're on the nine day cycle so like we're doing a long run every nine days and they're not really like workouts but they're a lot like steadier runs like we averaged 537 for the last 12 miles of the 18 miles today um, I think most of them will kind of be similar to that. They'll get a little bit longer, maybe a little bit quicker, but uh, that's like the general idea we want to stick with. I think one thing, or it's one thing like I did not have um, in my build up to Chicago last year at all. I feel like I didn't do enough uh, of like the longer runs or like the, steady, like the steady pace, not like really workout pace, but just like steady running. Um, so I think that's like one thing that Especially doing that up here at 7,000 feet, like it's gonna make five minute pace hopefully feel feel easy on race day. Thank you. It's like my daily runs, so I think I still would. Come on, JT. I think you all. I don't wanna be on camera eating pickles. I'm just gonna hold it out until the camera goes away. Can I leave the conversation? Do I the phone? So I think that's where I'm saying let's play around with it. Like this shoe, like feels the gap perfectly. They were great on the hills. Really good on the downhills, which is nice. You can kind of cycle through your stride really efficiently. If I'm running 440 to 540 pace, like I would wear that shoe, yeah, for sure. Create versions of this, you know, only changing that and see how that feels. This is the 324. I use them pretty much any road race, uh, but they're gonna be like my marathon shoe. I think I've gotten really used to this like cushioning in the uh, forefoot of the shoe. So like that was the first thing I noticed. It felt almost like similar to 
like the Velocity Elite we wore yesterday. It felt way more like responsive and like poppy and uh, 324. So it's like a good combination of, of soft, which is comfortable, but also getting a lot of response back. My Get favorite some. shoes. <laughs> Give me a couple more, don't mess them up, and good to go. feeling his neck right now um, or anything else that kind of crops up during training. Uh, if you train at a high level you're kind of constantly pushing the envelope so you're always riding that line between like maximum fitness and injury um, so I'm just doing every, everything you can to mitigate going over that, that edge and then his previous injury history also plays into that so whenever you hurt one thing it's kind of always something you got to manage or stay ahead of because you're more susceptible to re-injuring it. So some of it's I hopefully just maintenance and never trying to deal with anything that sets him back from training where he has to stop. But managing that as his mileage and intensity goes up. Yeah, that's where I can tell it's starting to get, I'm like starting to train enough that that's getting tight. So you definitely haven't been that crazy. Let's see, we just finished uh, first like nine day cycle yesterday. Back to day one. Is in the middle, we're in the middle of the fourth week of training now, three weeks down. Back to day one of, of the cycle and slept in. No double today. I was out here jogging seven miles, super slow. Uh, yeah, had a good first three weeks so far. Mileage gone like uh, 67 and then. 87, and then last week was 106, and I reckon this week will be about the same, maybe a little bit more. So, uh, right back to the normal schedule tomorrow, pretty much. So, I'm starting to get a little tired, but that is the beginning of marathon training. It starts when you get tired. Running is a really special thing, and you never know how long uh, you'll get to to live this kind of lifestyle and, and compete at this level. Uh, so it's something I definitely don't take for granted. Uh, on those days that you're like really out there suffering, uh, you gotta kinda like step back and you know, look at some scenery like this and really enjoy what, what you're doing. Um, you know, I'm 27 years old, I'm kinda like I would say right in the middle of that marathoning uh, career where I've like just started to get into it, but you know, anything can happen at any time and you know, my, the Olympic trials like in 2024, it's definitely, where I've shifted my focus, and I think CIM is a really important stepping stone in, in getting me on the line uh, at the trials whenever they happen in, in January or February uh, of 24. Well, maybe don't put this one in there then. Ah. Go down. That's gotta be at least two oh, pounds. Wow, look at that sky over there. I think that'll be a, a cool cut. Luckily it did, and then like you cut to like a, 